Man, what is going on, guys? I'm back with another episode of a TV movie podcast. And today I got for you Survivor 47, episode one. Bro, we are back with Survivor, baby. Come on, wrap it up, clap it up. So, usually I, I do like a recap, but guys, I just want to talk about the main point of emphasis here, Andy. So, I'm done doing like the whole recap. I'm just going to talk about what I want to talk about now. And we all seen the episode. Andy is crazy. This dude freaking fell over after a challenge. I thought he was faking it. He said he had a heat 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 a heat stroke or whatever, you know, he was he was overheated. Very well could be, but I think he was playing it up because he nobody who's having a heat you know, a heat, heat stroke or whatever is talking and complaining, like saying, oh, man, my my tribe wants to uh, evict me and yada, yada, yada. Usually they're like, yo, give me water. Like, nigga didn't even ask for water, bro. So, yeah. Andy, uh, we saw earlier in the episode that he said he was having trouble fitting in. He woke up in the middle of the night, wanted to talk to Rachel about it. Rachel kind of was like what are you doing we should not be here talking while everyone's asleep it looks suspicious and he didn't feel like he was heard and he feels like john is more popular than him because when he cuts the coconut everyone cheers when he, he when andy cuts the coconut nobody's even watching so he's feeling jealous and he thinks he is the least popular person in his tribe and he thinks he's going home this is everything that he just thought of in his own mind he 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 conjured this in his own brain. Nobody said anything about Andy needing to go home. And we didn't hear anything about Andy needing to go home until he decided to call out John and the rest of his tribe mates after the immunity challenge, which they lost, and they're going to go to tribal council. And he basically says everything I just said, but in front of not only his tribe mates, but in front of Jeff, in front of the other tribes, and the other tribes literally heard him say that, you know, he, his, his, he doesn't trust his tribe and that his tribe mates want him gone and that he's having trouble fitting in and that he wants John out. Like now the other tribe basically knows everything going on in the Gata tribe, which is the yellow tribe. And Andy is playing a messy game. And you would think they would vote him out. Easy vote. But apparently it, somehow John wants to pass things up with Andy, the person that calls him out. And he, he decides, yo, let's get out who Andy wants now. Andy wants Annika out. And so John is like, yeah, let's do it. Let's try to get Sam on board. Sam's not on board. Sam goes and talks to Sierra and uh, Annika about how they might need to get out John because John's playing way too hard now. And then all of a sudden, we thought Andy was public enemy number one. But it's really John now. And so now everyone's saying how John needs to go and how Andy is a bigger asset than John because he's a stronger player. And I'm just like, bro, anybody that calls you out in front of your tribe mates, you know, in front of Jeff, in front of the other other tribes, like, needs to go. It doesn't matter how strong he is, bro. Like, bro, he's, a K, he's not an asset no more at that point. He's a liability. You can't trust him. I forgot who pointed this out, but if Andy goes off to the... To, to get her like an advantage. What is he going to tell the other ch players in the other tribes? We don't know, but we know he will say something because he's a ticking time bomb. And you don't leave people like that in the game. And I get it. They want him in for strength because they don't want to go back to immunity. Uh, I mean, to tribal council. But, bro, Andy's just too much of a liability. It was a mistake voting out John, in my opinion. But we'll see how this all unfolds. Um, but other things that happened in this episode, we saw that Sam got a hidden immunity idol, uh, the first, uh, he had to find this key to open up a box and that idol would have only lasted him one tribal council. Then the next one would have, if he were to find the next key to open the next box would have lasted him three tribal councils. The, if he were to find the other one to open the next box, that would have lasted him all the way to Final Five. And he decides not to go looking for that one because he just thought it was just too much trouble. And he, he's just glad to have his vote back. And, um, bro, you should have just took that chance, bro. You should have just, like, gone for, to win the immunity and have your tribe win it so you 
you don't even need your vote, really. So you can go looking for this next idol. Because, like, why stop at... Why stop there? Why not go for the final five hidden immunity idol? I feel like he's going to regret not going after that because he might need it, bro. If he makes it all the way to final eight, final six, final... F bro, he might need that idol if he don't have one, bro. So, not. I, I think Sam made a mistake. You should have gone for it. You already found two. Why not find a third, baby? And we saw that Rome. <laughs> it was hilarious seeing Rome look for the Beware Vantage key through the well. And we saw Asia... All right, RHAP uh, podcasters, she saw him looking and she told her uh, uh, tribe mates about it. Then they saw him by the well and he was just walked the other direction. Rome is definitely not looking good uh, so far in this game for the Lava tribe. Lava tribe. And then let's talk about some of uh, I think we talked about the top Tuku tribe with Sam and all that. Um, so, yeah, that was basically it for this episode. You know, I. I wasn't really too impressed with this premiere, but it it did surprise me with what happened with Andy. So that was kind of entertaining. But you know these players, man. Whew, they I feel like they're gonna have a lot a lot of learning to do, man. I don't know if there's anyone that's really impressing me so far. I think Asia is definitely gonna be a really great player. Oh, and by the way, someone did peep that she was a podcaster. It was it was I think her name was Teeny Zini, whatever her name is. And uh, she does seem to have a really good social game as well. She's making friends with everyone in her tribe. And uh, she basically says, like, yo, I know who you are, but, you know, I want to work with you. And uh, Asia's like, you know, I, I kind of trust her. I hope she doesn't say anything to other people. But, uh, yeah, it would suck to be blindsided. So maybe she should be worried about her eventually. But as of right now, everything seems cool with them. So, yeah, man, pretty uh, pretty. I'm not going to say it was a great episode, but it was okay. I think the thing that happened with Andy kind of put it up a notch for me in terms of entertainment va value. But in terms of, like, gameplay and strategy, like, it was, it was nothing there, man. Like, especially with the vote for out John. Like, is he really that weak? You're going to leave someone like Andy in the game? I don't know, man. But, guys, let me know what you thought. Let me know if this was a good vote. I don't think it was. But it's been a TV movie podcast. We'll see you in the next episode. Bless up and peace.